Good morning everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, whichever it is where you are right now. Yes, I'm finally back on the road, on the 1290. Got a little bit of my mojo back. As I said on the, um, on the previous uh, video, a lot of stuff going on and I'd sort of lost my desire, or temporarily lost my desire for all things two wheels. Um, one of those things with the 1290 is not being able to get out of the garage. I could only get the Husky out which I used uh, a couple of times for work. But anyway, we're out and about today. Just stand in the middle of the road. So it would have been a two and a throw, and I got the 1290 out. And from riding the Husky um, for uh, quite a few times. <laughs> it certainly makes a massive difference. The riding position, the power, even the clutch. forget. I don't know if, if um, other owners of uh, big CC bikes that have smaller bikes, if you ride the smaller bike for a while and then jump on the big bike you notice a huge huge difference. Or well, well, you know, when you mix and match or, or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me know down in the comments please. The husky is no slouch, but <laughs> yeah, it's no, uh, it's no 1300 uh, V twin. Well, that's stating the obvious. They're no comparison. Sound of that exhaust. Let's see if the Long Nichiton Don is uh, free. Well, it's going to be open. But I imagine on a day like today, it's going to be crammed. We'll see.
So yep, it's run. <sighs> okay, so that was a quick cup of tea and an omelette. <coughs> Quite busy, couldn't get outside. As expected. Just stop for another little breather. Um, just want to give you uh, a lowdown on this that I was talking about earlier on. I got the idea off um, Lamb Chops, who got one. Um, but I didn't want to pay the kind of money that he paid for it. So for about 25, 30 quid, I got it off Amazon. It's advertised as uh, a fishing bag, harness, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I got it mainly for when I go to the US. Uh, I could put my GoPro batteries in there, this, that and the other. So they carry in a bag, or I'm going to be renting a bike, so I don't know if my, uh, my tank bag's going to fit <laughs> fit on there. So I've got this, uh, and so far it seems alright. Plenty of pockets, plenty of little, little bits and bobs hanging around. GoPro, wallet, batteries. Uh, I'm currently powering, instead of keep swapping the batteries over on my GoPro, I'm just using a power bank link directly to my, uh, my GoPro. Decent power bank there from uh, InUI. Decent, decent one. It is rated at 20,000 milliamps. Yeah, 20,000 milliamps. For that, just plug straight into the GoPro, power it off the, uh, power it off the bank. Saves messing around with any, um, any battery changes because you know the batteries don't last long in the GoPro. So there it is. It's got a few little patches on the back as well. Yeah, you can just see that there. Some zips, you can put, put stuff in there. I don't know if you could put a bladder in that. Uh, keep yourself cool. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Right, let's waffle, let's get back on the bike. There it is. No mods, no new mods I should say. Same as before, but after two years it still catches my eye. And that exhaust sounds an absolute treat. Cruising through the countryside, single track lane, cruise control on. These bikes are absolutely hooligan machines, but they're also uh, more than capable of just cruising along. I should have bought my drone. <laughs> <laughs> 